In this video, I'm going to be going over my five top things to consider when you play as a rifleman in Hell Let Loose. My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's get into it. Number one, understanding your role. Now, there's some primary objectives for each role in Hell Let Loose, but specifically for riflemen, you're going to want to focus on engaging the enemies at a medium to long range, providing suppressive fire, being a grunt, i.e. taking the brute force of the damage, making sure you're dying for your support roles in your squad if they're going to die, for example. So don't throw your your life, but try and protect your other squad mates that are using support role or are playing as an officer. And then lastly, communication, point things out, be the eyes, right? So those are the main things you're going to want to do or pay attention to when you play as a rifleman and understanding the role, okay? Now, there's some certain things that you spawn with as a rifleman that not all players spawn with. You don't have a secondary, so keep that in mind. What you do have is a bolt action rifle. You have two grenades. You have a hammer. You have a shovel, which is a melee weapon. The hammer is a tool that you use to help a support class or an engineer class build different structures. You have an ammo pack, which you can drop once every five minutes to support your other squad mates with ammo. And that's really it. You've got a rifle. You've got bandages, which I did forget to mention. You've got the hammer. You've got the munition box and you've got your melee weapon. I said shovel earlier, but it's the same thing, right? That's it. That's really all you got. So make do with what you got and make sure you utilize those tools that you have with you. Quick tip, keep in mind that grenades do not damage tanks, so don't waste your grenades on tanks. I like to do it just for comedic effect sometimes, but don't do that if you're trying to really win. Now, the last thing I want to say about knowing your role is stay with your squad, okay? It's really important to work with your squad and work as a team. I know that, you know, sometimes it's hard when you don't have a team with mics, so just do what you can. Stick with your team, drop ammo if they request it, or just pay attention to what's going on and try and support your team in any way you can. Follow your squad leader's orders, and that actually shifts right into number two, coordinate with your squad. Now, I got three things here as well. You know, you want to be a team player, okay? You want to communicate with your squad, point things out, and and just communicate as much as possible. And again, you know, take this with a grain of salt if your squad doesn't use a mic or not everybody has mics or whatever, but just try and do what you can to communicate, okay? Now, it's also really important when you're coordinating with your squad to coordinate with specific other roles. Like I said earlier, the engineer role, you can help the engineer build different structures like a barricade or a gate or a hut or whatever it's called. You can help them build other things with that hammer. So you're going to want to make sure you're coordinating with your other roles. There's also like the machine gun roles that can run out of ammo relatively quickly. And since you have an ammo box, you can drop that for them. So make sure you're checking in with your teammates, not just them talking to you, right? Someone else you might want to coordinate with would be the medic, making sure you can provide covering fire if there's medium to long range engagements from the medic and they're trying to heal a teammate, for example. Make sure you continue to coordinate with your squad to achieve tactical objectives, not just the actual point of interest, okay, POI. Went in pretty heavily on voice chat and communication, so I'm not going to dig into it too much deeper, but there is one other thing I want to mention, and that's utilizing the new map markers that came with the latest update. They came out with map markers for all players. You can place a moving attack, defend, or a viewing spotting marker. I'm not really sure what it's called. And then obviously you can place the ping, the caution ping. If you really enjoy my content, consider clicking the merch store link down below and buying something that you might enjoy. It'll help support me as a content creator and help me shift to full-time content. But rolling into number three, that's going to be adapt to the situation. Now, as you might already know, if you play Hell Let Loose or have played Hell Let Loose before, you know that shit can get hot real quick, okay? There's a lot of dynamic natures in Hell Let Loose. A lot of different battles can happen in different ways. People can be crazy and do different wild shit and build crazy stuff in different places. So you're just going to want to ensure that you continue to adapt to whatever is going on in the environment, okay? That might mean, you know, throwing a grenade in an area where you might not normally throw a grenade or engaging in short range combat because you're forced to, right? Obviously, continue to make sure you're fulfilling your primary objective, but you know, obviously you're going to need to adapt to different situations and just do what you can. There's not really much tips I can give or many tips I can give for this because everything's different in different ways. The only thing I really can say is to adjust your positioning based on different terrains or objectives that are on the map. You might want to position yourself a little differently, or you might need to shift from offensive to defensive and just keep your ears open if your squad leader says to do that you know and it's okay once in a while to drop back as an individual if you see the rest of your team dropping back to defend it's totally okay to drop back and defend with your team but not your squad if you feel like that's something that needs to be done that one was pretty short and sweet rolling in number four play to your role's strengths 
the strengths of a rifleman are really there's not a whole lot because it is kind of a basic class but it is a really good class to learn the game on so some of the strengths of a rifleman are going to be the accuracy range and suppressive fire capabilities of the rifleman now that isn't necessarily unique to the rifleman however that is its strengths so you're going to want to maintain distance from your enemies you're going to want to make sure you're communicating again with your teammate providing suppressive fire where it might be needed and suppressive fire in case you don't know what that means and you've gone this far without knowing what it means basically it means you're shooting at somebody not to kill them but to keep them from shooting back okay so for example you've got a teammate down medic is healing him you're shooting at this guy to stop him from peeking his head out maybe you do kill him in the rounds but then your medic gets your teammate revived and then you can move on and move to a different position you know strategize right so that's suppressive fire so those are the big things okay maintain distance utilize your rifle you know long range again and you're really going to want to make sure you utilize your tools effectively. Throw your grenades where they might be needed, where there's a group of people spawning, maybe by a garrison that you haven't engaged yet or that your team hasn't gotten to yet, or an OP, for example. You're going to want to save those grenades for strategic uses, but don't be stingy with them either. Don't be afraid to use them. Just do what you can, get strategic, think strategic, and just apply what you think will work. Number five, continuously learn and improve. Now, this was kind of a cop out if you ask me, but I kind of like it because it's really important and you can apply it to life in general. Anyway, getting off my soapbox, it is really important to just continue to learn the game, learn the maps, learn the mechanics, learn how different things work, learn how to get headshots, you know, whatever else. And I do have some tips on my YouTube channel already for beginner players if you want to go ahead and watch that video. Now, some of my strategies for improving accuracy are going to be to just try and not not focus on everything that's going on around you. There's going to be a lot going on around you. And the best way to improve your accuracy, in my opinion, is to just focus on one thing at a time, you know, analyze the environment. And if you see somebody try and shoot them when they're not looking at you, that will definitely help. But really, honestly, it just kind of takes time to learn the mechanics of this game. I don't really have a whole lot of pro tips for how to get better at shooting. OK, it's just going to take a little time. And once you get the hang of it, it's kind of natural at that point. There's not a whole lot to learn. There is a little bit of bullet physics, but it doesn't really feel like a whole ton of bullet physics like Battlefield, for example. But just take some time, you know, take your time when you're shooting as well. That could be a tip, but don't rush it unless, you know, you're getting fucking like rammed from somebody or rushed, you know, whatever. And don't be afraid to ask for help from other experienced players, too. If you're in a new game or a new squad or you're new to the game, you know, whatever might have it, don't be afraid to ask your fellow squad mates or teammates for ideas or different strategies or or like, don't be afraid to be the only one communicating either. You know, whenever you're playing any FPS game, if you're the only one communicating, that's better than no one communicating, okay? So just communicate, ask for help, watch other tutorials on YouTube. You know, you can watch streamers play the game and analyze their gameplay. Whatever it is that you want to do to try and get better, you can do that, okay? But really just taking time on the game, practicing shooting just by doing it, or you could try shooting at a tree, you know, whatever you might want to do. But just don't give up. If you really enjoy the game, just keep pushing. You'll get used to to it. The mechanics are definitely pretty unique, but again, it just takes time. Other than that, stay tuned for more gaming content, and we'll talk again real soon, all right? Peace!